Hi friends, uh, so today I'm planning to talk about a slightly different topic. So we will digress slightly from the topic of mechanical vibration to something pretty interesting uh, and something which you would have seen in your pre-university or at, time, at times you would have forgot. Um, so let's um, go ahead and see how we can geometrically interpret a complex number. So let's say I have a complex number A plus IB then geometrically we can think like this let's say this is my real axis and this is my imaginary axis imaginary axis so if I want to represent this A plus IB in this plane in this real imaginary plane how should I go about doing that so the way to do that so you mark or you move a units along the real axis and you move b units along the imaginary axis let's say then I will reach here. So this particular point is geometrically we are referring to this point when I am referring to saying or when I am referring to the complex number a plus ib. In other words it can be also thought of as a vector which starts from the origin. Let me use a different color there. So it starts from origin and it goes here. So this is the vector. This is the complex vector A, a plus IB. Now is there a, another way of representing the same vector? So we, we initially we specified A then we specified B A plus IB. That was one way of referring to this particular vector. The other way how we can talk about or say about or name this particular vector or this particular complex number is that let's say I know this distance let's say I know this distance let me call that little r and I know the inclination or the orientation of this particular line from the positive x-axis let's say this is theta okay so the other way of representing a complex number let's say z is the initial z, okay I will use the I will call it z so z is our complex number initially I was referring to it as z z equal to a plus ib now I am referring this to the same complex number using a different notation I am calling it r e raised i theta where I will tell you what each of these things mean my r is root of a square plus b square and e raised i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta make sense so in both these instances or by both these definitions we are referring to the same complex number so the it's like um, you are telling someone how to reach this particular point from let's say my person is somewhere here and you you are telling him the one way of telling the person is you move this in this way along the x direction by a units then move along the y direction b units now you can direct the same person to this particular point by telling it in another way now let's see I'm telling the person hey man you first mark a direction which is inclined from this positive axis by an amount theta. Now you have this direction. Now once you know the direction in which you have to travel, you travel along that direction by this amount, by little r amount. So make sense? So we are, so that's the best way to think about it. Now let's mathematically show that both of them are referring to the same quantity. So here I am going to show you that by this notation we are referring to the same complex number so let's see how we can go about proving that 
so erased i theta by i don't know whose expansion was i forgot his names but uh, some euler expansion or something i don't i don't remember it exactly so we can prove this actually using taylor series expansion which i am not planning to do at this point of time we can do this um erased i theta can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta where r was given by root of a square plus b square this so also known as the magnitude of the your complex number then i can take cos theta outside so then i can write whatever the, the in the bracket like this because if you multiply tan theta with cos theta you will again come here you will all again obtain sin theta so this is quite good now again appreciate your complex number geometrically this theta or if you want to compute the cosine of this theta then we can co construct this right triangle where cos theta can be written like this a divided by root of a square plus b square and tan theta opposite side by adjacent side can be treated like this so we have effectively proven that by both these notations we are referring to the same complex number fine so now what is the face angle of a complex number so we talked about um, the two representations and we said we can uh, the one way of go re to represent a complex number r e raised i theta form so this theta which dictates how much by what amount this complex number is actually tilted or inclined to the positive x axis or to the positive real axis is known as the phase angle so the phase angle is your theta now one more thing um let's say i have a complex number uh 2i so my z1 is 2i z1 is the first complex number and the second complex number is let's say 3 okay now what i'm doing is i'm just multiplying these two complex numbers with i which is the imaginary unit imaginary notation or whatever you call it now we know i square is minus 1 okay so if i multiply z1 with i let the new complex number be uh, z1 prime z1 prime then it will be 2 times i square which will be minus 2 clear S now similarly if i compute z2 prime it will be 3i okay now i want to geometrically represent this complex number z1 equal to 2i then it will be somewhere here let me use a different color so 2i will be looking like this so this is my z1 now when i multiplied it with i i got minus 2 so the new complex number will be here so this is my z1 prime make sense clear so what happened to the complex number when i multiplied with the imaginary symbol i the magnitude of the complex number which is the length of this particular vector it didn't change but the moment i multiplied it with i it actually rotated in the counterclockwise direction by an amount 90 degree clear similarly now let's try to plot the second thing now the second thing we started with this vector which is 3 so let's say this is my z2 then z2 prime is 3i what happened so it will be here this is my 3i i am using solid arrows so that we can easily understand so this was my z2 now this is my z2 prime again see what happens the moment i multiply the complex number with imaginary symbol i it gets rotated by 90 degrees in the counterclockwise direction make sense why is it so
let's try to geometrically appreciate what will happen when we actually multiply two complex numbers together so i request for the time being let's focus our attention to the right side of the screen where i have my first complex number here this first complex number can be given as can be written as z1 is equal to 2 plus i2 which can be also written as root 8 e raised i pi by 4 make sense because to this angle is pi by 4 45 degree because this unit is 2 this is this is of length 2 so the angle this angle will be 45 degree because if you compute the tan it comes to 1 similarly here also this complex number similarly i can write z2 as 1 plus 1 i which will be root 2 e raised i pi by 4 okay so now once i multiply these two things together then i am getting this complex number which is 4 e raised i pi by 2 so what happens here see what happened uh, for the product if we see its magnitude its magnitude is now 4 or in other words the magnitude of the result of the or the product is root 8 times root 2 which will be root 16 which is will be 4 make sense so the magnitude get magnified by the ma by the amplitude of the other complex number now what happens to the angle see here so initially this was inclined at 5 by 4 degrees and this was inclined at 5 by 4 degrees now the resultant is inclined with the um, inclined with the positive x axis by 90 degrees so the ve this vector when it is multiplied with this vector gets amplified and also gets rotated by this amount okay so that is the reason when we multiplied a complex number let's say uh, this is my first complex number this can be also written as 3 e raised i 0 isn't it when i multiplied with i which can be written as like say ah uh, this can be written as 1 e raised i pi by 2 right so that's why this is simply 3 only when i multiply 3 times i my this complex number got rotated by an amount pi by 2 so that so that's how you we can think of as think uh, geometrically or that's how we can appreciate complex number multiplication geometrically thanks